All right, uh, here is a quick video uh, because somebody was asking how you can actually, uh, you know, uh, use uh, the real EEPROM files that the VPROM can create uh, onto, um, into uh, real drum machines, uh, vintage uh, drum machines, uh, because VPROM uh, actually read uh, real, uh, uh, real files and can create real files you can actually load in real drum machine, such as, for example, uh, the great uh, drum tracks, all right? So um, what we're gonna do, so right there, um, there is some um, basic set of EEPROM in this, uh, mainly uh, stock ones, but I have uh, actually uh, what you can call, what you, what you call uh, a ZIF socket, all right? This is a nice, uh, you know, socket to easily uh, remove uh, EEPROM uh, chips. So right there, I have an element term in there. So we're gonna mess with this. Uh, just the thing in this machine, uh, there is actually a CM filter in this, um, on this voice, on the tone voices, and um, the, the the filter on the drum tracks is set way closed. Uh, it's really it's, it's way closed, so it's way dark. Uh, so we have actually okay. So now uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually sample uh, something into VPROM. Um, so let's go. Uh, we're gonna try to load something. Um, let me see what I can pull in this. Uh, maybe a short one so it can fit in the machine. Uh, this noise thing. I think this is a kind of a clap, something like that. Okay. So actually, uh, it's been uh, resampled and uh, it's ready to preview. So we can. Okay. We're going to mess with this uh, before actually writing the, the problem. We're going to change the amplification a bit. Yeah. Maybe some, a bit of jitter. Yeah. I think it should be nice. Maybe a bit more, so it's really, yeah. Nice, so uh, we are uh, going to burn this thing. All right, burn successfully, right there. And now uh, let's try to go to, um, I don't know, tone high, tone, tone high. Okay, so we are on the item and the sample you just converted, uh, you can find in, in, in the user converted folder. It's, crea it's created for you. And what I, what I have here, denoise. All right, so bam, it's there. And now it's, uh, okay, it's on the, uh, the tom, all right. And the cool thing in VPROM is that, you, uh, contrary to uh, the real NM1 or other machines, uh, you can actually set uh, different EEPROMs uh, on stuff like toms or congas. Uh, they, they share they share a filter, but the, you have actually two memory. So I'm gonna load the same right there, so I can have tom low and tom high with the same. Okay, and uh, to actually make it sound like the drum tracks, um, just for fun, uh, I'm gonna set it to export mode. And uh, we have here. And I think on the drum track there, there is no, uh, there is no envelope. I'm pretty sure. And you might have some kind of tracking. So this might be okay. And uh, probably I already tested earlier. Uh, you have uh, uh, the sample is actually longer than the EEPROM files on the drum tracks. So yeah, it will end right there. Okay. So now. Uh, oh, you're gonna take this thing into the machine. So, uh, first of all, uh, here is an EEPROM burner, all right? Uh, this is a, a cheap USB uh, EEPROM reader and burner. You can find this on eBay, this is a Mini Pro. I got this uh, years ago and it's, it's still working quite fine. Um, that's probably better things now. So what you need uh, is actually a blank EEPROM. So I have a nice set right there on the right size, all right? So uh, I'm gonna pull this thing and place it uh, where it should be, and lock it in place. Bam, all right, uh, it should be, yes, it's nice. And uh, now you got this little interface, all right, um, and you should be able to, to write. So um, I'm gonna actually open the file, uh, user converted and denoise, uh, that was the one. This, this is the actual file created by VPROM. So I open this, binary, all right, okay, bam. Now it's in memory right there, and we're gonna need to actually program the ship. So uh, we're gonna try to do this. Uh, maybe you might need to uncheck ID. Sometimes it won't work if you if you have this uh, checked, it can be a bit picky, so let's go. And bam, we have an error right there. So let me check why, and I, uh, I, um, uh, I get back to you. Uh, I found out why. Uh, on the machine, uh, there is something, uh, sometimes some kind of a nasty things uh, on the USB port on this uh, window PC. Actually, uh, you can see 
it's it's messed up sometimes i need to reboot the computer if i uh, unplug things so this is why actually what it said what it says is a uh, device um you know unavailable this is because it, it can can actually find the the burner so let me fix this and uh we we're gonna take this back okay we are back so uh the eprom usb connection uh is now made available again so hopefully uh, this should work now so uh let's do this uh again shall we uh we're gonna open uh our file noise um bang and bang all right so uh obviously uh something uh you can see right there is like uh 10k all right so um the the actual eprom is 8k right there so the nice thing is that it will, it will be cut anyway, but you will, you, you need to know about this, all right? Because uh, VPROM tries to uh, actually make uh, sizes that are some, some uh, multiple of uh, 2K, all right? So you can have 2K, uh, you know, 4K, but you can have 6, uh, six and, um, you know, and something in between. So and usually, uh, you know, all VPROM are usually 4K, 8K, uh, 16K, 32K, but usually all drum machines, this is 4 and 8. So anyway, um, let's try to actually program this thing. Okay, sorry for that shit, but uh, I think it's actually written. So let's go, let's check. All right, let's move this again, bam. And this one is right here, all right. All right, this is a good size, yeah. You know why, it, why it's nice to have, you know, a plugin well uh it's way more handy than this nasty thing okay let's... yeah here yeah. hear it uh we should hear okay let's check um, with the sequence uh there is some pitch in there Like I said, the, the future on this is way close. But yeah, you can see uh, this is the EPROM we just uh, made, uh, and it's in there. Okay, uh, let's change that. There's not even the tracking on this on these drum tracks. It, it, the filter is just way way low. It's just super closed. Um, I think the closer we can get uh, with this is uh, actually uh, yeah to be almost uh, fully closed. No envelope. We can try to close again. Uh, It's actually too way lower yeah and there is a bit of a click uh, on the uh, actual uh, trigger on this this is slightly different but anyway uh, you can see this is working and this is the way to go uh, so you can actually sample uh, anything in this and uh, you use the resulting bin file to actually burn it uh, onto some EPROMs uh, using that kind of things and that should work although uh, this could be nasty as you can see because USB and uh, PCs some kind of funky, all right? See ya.